The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Superstars and sports SC. Uh oh. Pedigree! Pedigree! He's going for the pin. SmackDown vs. Raw 2008 for the Nintendo Wii. I'm lucky enough to get the bad version of this game. WWE, or the World Wrestling Entertainment, is a professional wrestling company that focuses on staged wrestling. They can be recognized by their popular stars such as Hulk Hogan, Macho Man Randy Savage, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, The Undertaker, and motherfucking John Cena. I've been a WWE fan since late 2007, and I'm still watching it today. But when I compare yesterday's to today's... You know, I don't really want to talk about it anymore. Since 1989, WWE has had their long line of games. Today, they're under the 2K name. But we're going back to the days when the brands were split, the storylines were better, and women were hot and kicked major ass. Let's take a better look at SVR 2008. Before we get to the core gameplay, there's one major issue that needs to be pointed out, and that's the match selection. Usually games of these natures have a great variety of matches to choose from, like a TLC, Steel Cage, or Hell in a Cell. But in this game, you get... Five different matches. Five! Five. And I mean, JESUS! The Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of this game have better selections, but the Wii doesn't? It's been proven. The Wii isn't superior. Other than that, that's my only major complaint. There are still little things wrong with this game, but we'll get to that later. But for now, let's move on to the gameplay. Once you get over the limited selection of matches, you choose a match, and then you can go over the roster of the year. There are guys like MVP, Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Finley, The Legend Killer, The Hurricane, John Morrison, Straight Edge, and that guy from the Spirit Squad. But I'm gonna pick Edge because he's awesome. And he'll go against Bautista. For controls, you will use the buttons, but most of the time you will be swinging your Wii Remote and Nunchuck all over the place. My guess is so that gamers could feel how it's like to be in the squared circle. So yeah, most of the same rules can apply to each match. You can win via pinfall, submission, or countout. In a hardcore match, you can use chairs to beat your opponent to a bloody mess. In a KO match, you can just beat up your opponent to an oblivion. Even though the match choices are limited, you can still have fun with it. I know I did back in the day. But I am the freaking weird child. And that's pretty much how you play. Moving on.
The music in the menus are a whole track of lights and songs, which I'm not going to play because copyright's a botch. The only other music you'll hear is when the superstars and divas come down the entrance ramp, which I'm not going to play either because WWE's a botch. So the only music you'll be hearing is from WWF WrestleMania because this game is a botch. I'm sick of this fucking bullshit! Let's move on. There are two other modes to play, one of which being the main event mode, where you choose one of the wrestlers and go through life as a WWE superstar. Unlike the PS3 or Xbox 360 versions where you play in 24-7 mode either as a wrestler or a general manager. In other words, stay away from this piece of f There's also tournament mode where you could compete in a few different tournaments, such as King of the Ring, Beat the Clock, Quick Play, Create Your Own, Blah, blah, boring. But the main event would have to be create a wrestler mode. Where you... Create a wrestler. That shows you how creative I am. I filled up the slots with my family, and for whatever reason, they all wore masks? Yeah, moving on. WWE continued SmackDown vs. Raw games until 2011 when they changed the name to simply WWE, and have been using it ever since. THQ, the publisher of WWE games at the time, went bankrupt in 2012, and since then, 2K Games has been taking the role of publishing. As mentioned before, this game was also released for the PS3 and Xbox 360. It's also been released on the PS2, PSP, and Nintendo DS. It is also said to have been released for mobile phones, and oh my god. So, what is my overall rating for this game? 6.4. You could still have fun with this game, but if you have the option, you should buy the other console versions because they're far more superior to this weetard. But that's only my opinion. If you have your own thoughts, leave a comment. If you like what you see, leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. Anyhow, this has been Brian the Blue Game Reviews, SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, for the Wii.